How should I clean these R.M. Williams Rickaby boots in Charles F. Stead uh, tobacco suede, even with a little bit of grease on the toe? Keep watching. G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy and my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands that I live on here in Perth, the Wajit people. Now, uh, I'm going to take you through a cleaning video and I'll, I'll talk through the process as I go. But this is a pair of R.M. Williams uh, Rickaby boots and I'll put a link to uh, my original review up there. Uh, and I'll also put a link uh, to where you can have a look at R.M. Williams boots in the, in the description below. It is an affiliate link. But if you do intend to buy any RM uh, Williams products, it'd be fantastic if you use that link because it actually helped to defray my channel. But let's get over and done with. Now, uh, the RM Williams Rickaby boot is a seasonal boot that RM Williams brings in and out of style uh, from season to season. And this one is in tobacco suede. The suede is from uh, the UK company Charles F. Stead, which is famous for making really fine suedes. What is suede? Suede is a split leather. Now, that means that when a hide comes in, it, it actually gets split with the smooth top grain leather half going off to make smooth leather boots. Uh, but uh, the other side is uh, used to make uh, rough outs and various other pieces like that, but also suede. Because what happens is they take that rough side, unlike Nubuck, which uses the top grain, and they correct the very nappy split leather into this very soft suede. And suede tends to be a little thinner than uh, smooth grain leather because it is the bottom half after all and the fibers are a little bit looser. Charles F. Stead in particular uh, are really good at making very fine napped suede. And I don't use this boot very roughly so you can see it's not particularly dirty or, or scrappy or, or uh, um, you know, needing, needing sort of degreasing or whatever except for this one little spot. But uh, I did take it on a trip to Western Victoria uh, and it was through some rocky, sandy country and it's, it's quite uh, dusty. So I do need to give it a little bit of a clean. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to walk you through the cleaning process. So uh, let's go and look over my shoulder as I clean this. So let's uh, start cleaning these R.M. Williams Rickaby boots. You'll notice I've taken off the laces so I can get in there uh, down to the tongue. And I've also inserted a uh, shoe tree uh, and really it makes it heavy <laughs> but really what that does is it it sort of fills out the vamp so that when I'm rubbing uh, against it or brushing against it uh, uh, it takes a bit of the pressure and doesn't collapse which makes it a lot harder to clean. So laces off, uh, boot trees in. Products I'm going to use, a stiff nylon brush. Uh, it doesn't have to be nylon, I guess you could use a stiff pig hair brush and that's really to clean uh, the uh, uh, outsole, which this doesn't need, I really, it's quite clean. Um, but I'm also going to maybe use it to clean off some of the welt area. Again, let me just say, these boots have been reasonably well kept. I don't wear them rough, but I did wear them into the country, uh, which means they got a little bit dusty, and that's really big, basically all it is. Uh, I'm also using a uh, suede brush. This one is made by Timberland, but you can get others. And some others have a sort of core of copper wire in the middle, which is also quite good to basically scruff up uh, the suede. And then a suede eraser. And this literally is the sort of eraser that we used to use as kids in school. Uh, that's all it is. Uh, and we're going to rub off any, any particular grease marks or dirt. And I've got R.M. Williams' uh, suede cleaner here. Uh, and as a product, what you have to do is actually directions for use. Shake well before use, spray on a clean cloth or sponge, work cleaner in a circular motion on surface of article. So you don't spray it on the boot, you spray it on a cloth to wipe off. And then obviously, you're going to need a cloth. So let's start, I'm, I'm just going to very quickly uh, make sure that I'm brushing off any kind of loose dirt from the outsole because what you don't want is, uh, once you've cleaned the boot, to transfer any dirt uh, from the bottom uh, to the uppers. But as you can see, uh, these boots, which I also wear indoors, are reasonably clean. But, you know, you never know, there are 
um, uh, loose grains of sand or dust or whatever which can get into this nappy leather. Did I? I don't think I cleaned the welt area, so there you go. Not, again, not that it needs it. Right, so once you've cleaned the outsoles, you're just going to brush the uppers uh, with a suede brush, and, and that's entirely um, to remove loose dirt. Uh, it's not so much to, to brush it clean or, or to brush, brush it shiny <laughs> like you would on full grain. Uh, but you see there's a little bit of uh, grease there, I think, from just accidentally kicking the tires of the hire car. And some of it's come off, but I think I'm going to have to use the cleaner on it. Now, I will show you once I've cleaned this and the cleaner has dried, I am going to uh, rebrush the nap because uh, with, with suede nap, there is a right way and a wrong way. And if you feel it, you can feel it rough one way and smooth the other. And in fact, if, you, if I get the uh, light right, you can see how it darkens because I brushed the nap one way and it lightens because I brushed it the other. And at the end, I'm going to make sure that I brush it the right way so it stands up right. Uh, similar here, just clean off any sand, powdery dust, any kind of dirt like that. Not particularly dirty, so I'm not, I'm not sort of rubbing off, uh, brushing off um, sand and stuff. And again, uh, before I started this video, I looked inside and it's not needing a particular clean, but otherwise I'd be making sure that I sort of brush the insides. Simple brushing to remove loose stuff and then the eraser to work on any marks. And you tell me, I don't actually see any marks, maybe one there, just a little spot rub. I don't really see any marks. And as I say that, I keep finding marks. And that's all you do. You just erase the bad spot. And it was this boot, wasn't it? That had the grease mark. A little bit left in there, but almost gone. Uh, this boot. Maybe a bit of a scuff. But I think that will brush off after I've cleaned it. All right, no real marks. Toe of the boot. Obviously, I kick things. And guess what? Once you've uh, done that, there'll be bits of rubber left on. So, back to brushing. And as you can see, it is fairly easy to care for suede. You don't have to be precious about it. Okay. So, having first got rid of loose dirt, uh, second, uh, spot erased some pretty bad marks, uh, and then brushed it again to get rid of all the rubber tailings and that sort of stuff, we're going to give it a clean. So, RM Williams suede cleaner, and an ordinary cloth. The idea is to spray it onto the cloth and it doesn't foam, it doesn't uh, suds up. So it's more of a, a, a gentle alcohol-based alcohol cleaner. And all I'm going to do is give it a, a wipe all over and maybe focus on that grease spot. As you can see, the leather has darkened. Don't panic. It's just uh, the nap becoming damp, which is one of the reasons why you don't spray directly onto uh, the suede, because that just saturates it. OK, 
keep going. So this might be a little boring because it's working up a sweat for me uh, and it takes a little while to wipe the dirt off the boot if there is any dirt. So I'm probably going to uh, fast forward this part. You notice I'm spending a bit more time cleaning the uh, vamp and the lower quarters than the shaft itself because the shaft is kind of protected often by your pants or your jeans. So, um, you know, unless you, the indigo maybe is transferring onto uh, the suede, uh, it's, it's not as dirty as the um, parts of the boot which, you know, walk through grass or, or whatever. So. You know, I'm not re even really putting a lot of pressure on, I'm basically just wiping. There you go. Um, so they're, they're a bit damp for now, so I'm going to leave them to dry. Probably 24 hours is best, although I think a couple of hours would be fine. Uh, and then we're going to brush them up and make sure the nap stands out and uh, looks as good as uh, almost new. So we'll continue. Through the magic of video, it's been 24 hours and the boots are dry. The suede has come out really nicely. Um, the uh, grease spot is gone, uh, but the, the nap is a little bit rough. So the next step I'm going to do is take the suede brush again and give it a good brush down. The secret behind this is not to be too gentle but not to be too rough because the bristles are hard enough as they are. But what I'm also doing is I'm brushing them one way to kind of raise the nap and to actually soften the nap and then brush them the other way to make them lie down in the right uh, position, in the right sort of uh, grain if you like. And you'll notice I've put the laces back on because I, I'm not uh, you know, necessarily going to brush the tongue. So again, brush one way and then brush the other. To, so soften and then realign the nap. And I think, um, hopefully in this light you can see that Having brushed them, you can see where the nap is sort of all over the place on this boot. And after brushing, they've been realigned on this boot. So I'll do this other boot now. And there you have it, uh, finished off the brushing. There's a couple of other, uh, other steps that you can take. And one of them is to condition the, the suede. Uh, you can't use a normal waxy conditioner, but there are uh, suede and nubuck conditioners. For example, Sophia makes a fairly expensive one. Uh, Tarago does too, both sprays. Uh, and there are several others. Red Wing does a, does, does a liquid uh, atomizer spray type thing. The one I use is from Danish company Echo. Uh, this is a, a um, Dorberon sponge one that you basically uh, wipe all over the boot and it conditions the outside of the suede. I'm not going to do it. I don't think this boot needs suede and I don't ever try, try and uh, over condition my boots. But you could do that if it feels a bit dry. The other step I'm going to do is to waterproof them. Um, because I do wear these out in the weather sometimes. I'm not precious about them but uh, I, I don't want them to soak if they're in the water. So. What I use is a Tarago Nano Spray um, and it comes in an aerosol can. This is a closed room so I'm probably going to gas myself or end up being very happy. But uh, what you do is you shake it. Let me remove that boot. Um, and the idea is to give it a couple of passes.
that's enough. On the other side, there you go. And so that's the Tarago Nano Spray Waterproofing Spray. And I can assure you, it um, stinks of high heaven. <laughs> you, you might like it if you like uh, sniffing things. <laughs> Um, and it will um, fill the room for a little while and uh, make me as high as a kite and a conditioner if you need it. So there you go. Now here we are back again after uh, 20 minutes or so. The Tarago spray has dried and I think you can see, um, I, I, I wish I'd taken a, a before shot properly, but I think you can, you can compare, you can sort of wind back. And I think you can see that the suede's really picked up really nicely. Uh, it's softened again. The, all the uh, rough, um, scratchy bits have, have uh, come back and become soft. And uh, all they needed was a nice cleaning. So remember the process. Uh, get a dry brush, clean off the sole so you don't transfer uh, dirt back onto the uppers. Uh, use a suede brush to uh, brush the uppers. And that is the secret. You basically brush after every step. Brush, brush the uppers of, of any dry uh, dirt still on it. Uh, give it a, a clean with a suede cleaner on a damp cloth that you wipe all over. You don't spot clean because it might sort of stain in spots. Um, let it dry overnight. Uh, give it another brush. And then if you want, you can condition or you can put it on a waterproof spray. And that's all there is to it really. It's quite easy to look after suede. Now, there are some extremely fine suede, like the uh, Janus Calf suede that's used in my Viberg boots. If you have those, you probably want to, be, to take a little more care in how you use them for a start. But I would definitely brush them quite often, and I would definitely, after every cleaning, use a waterproof spray. Uh, that's a, an extremely fine suede, also produced by Charles F. Stead. Now, uh, I want to remind you, <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to click on like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps me out. So take care out there, guys. I'd like to see you again next time. Come back soon. See you later.